When you say you got a death threat, what, what, what did that look like? Death threats started really coming about after I randomly got an ad on my Facebook page for this organization called Turning Point USA, which I had never heard of before. Um, that's Charlie Kirk's company that's doing activism work from the conservative perspective on college campuses. <laughs> and I saw an ad for an event they were putting on called the Young Women's Leadership Summit. And I had no idea what this company was doing, what this event was, but I recognized a few names on the poster. Ben Shapiro had been pretty viral on my YouTube at that point. And I didn't know much about him, but his name and his picture were there. Tommy Laren, I kind of recognized that name because somebody had compared me to her in my class a few weeks earlier. And I just had this deep seated feeling. I didn't know why I had to jump on a plane to go to this event where I knew nobody and I knew nothing about the organization. Uh, so I, I went, I jumped on a plane, went to Dallas, Texas in June of 2017, right after my mm. sophomore year and totally fell in love with this idea of there were thousands of other young women exactly like me all over the country who felt like they were the only person in their college or high school community with their values. When you say your values, what values did you share? Uh, really, this was at the time mostly politically, but also religiously as well. The idea that there could be something greater than our universe, that God could exist and our rights come from God, not from the government. Okay. Uh, freedom of speech and freedom of expression, wanting to challenge your perspectives, not needing handouts because you were a woman, but be having the freedom and the capacity to work your way to success and build your own American dream mm. yourself. You weren't an oppressed category. You just got to be the victor of your own life if that's what you so chose. So I wanted to bring that back with me and I ended up starting a Turning Point USA chapter on my college campus, which is kind of like a club where you hang out and you meet people. Uh, but a big part of what they do is bring speakers to campus like a Charlie Kirk or a Dennis Prager or Candace Owens or Ben Shapiro, any of the ones that you always see going viral on <coughs> college campuses. And that's really when the death threat started in student government for me because I was doing both at the same time. So people I was sitting next to in our Senate meetings every week or people that I worked with on campus started saying that I was a Nazi and that all Nazis deserve to be effing shot. People found the... Would they say this to your face or were they in write texts, it? Mostly, in texts mostly, yeah, or Facebook okay. messages. Uh, most of the time, because they were messages, the good news is that's not freedom of speech. Spoiler, when you threaten to shoot someone in the head. So we were able to develop a really great camaraderie with the local police department on mm. our campus. And they were very supportive of all the work that I was doing and watched out for me. Um, but it was a scary time. I, I mean, it's say, hard. You seem rather sanguine about all of this. Now At the time, I it am. must have been... You know, even then, people ask me, like, how are you dealing with this the way that you are? You should be totally freaking out. It was definitely scary, especially when my address was doxxed. I mean, I lived in a one-bedroom apartment right off campus. Um, I had really bad roommate experiences and said, to hell with this. I'm not doing this anymore. This is horrible. Um, so I ended up living alone junior and senior year. And when my address got posted, I was walking home from the library at like 3, 4 in the morning sometimes after marathon study sessions for organic chemistry. Again, God bless you if you're taking that class. I got a 50 54% in that class and it was a B with the curve. So that should tell oh, you wow. everything you need to know. Um, but my parents in particular were really a lot more scared than I was. So, so the, the death threats came that way. Um, you're walking home at three in the morning. So yeah, okay, keep going. I'm sorry. I, I was about to, I was, I was, I, I was about to respond to something, but I forgot. So um, you know, I honestly can't tell you though, Matt, how I wasn't more afraid. I was uneasy for sure. How did, how, that's what I was going to ask you. How did your address get doxxed? Uh, I have no idea. Somebody online, posted it. You... A person I didn't know posted it on the comments section of a newspaper article on Facebook that they had interviewed me about bringing a speaker to campus. At the time, it was Charlie Kirk. I ended up hosting Candace Owens and Dennis Prager on my okay. campus as well. Actually, it was Candace's first ever college event was at my mm. university while I was there. So we go way back because of that. And it's very fun.